So you actually use marijuana every day? Every single day, and I will do so every day until the day I drop dead. Before you came to the Capitol? Yes. And did you tell Reverend Diaz that? Um, no, but I, sp I spoke openly about the fact that I medicate myself, and I consider medicating. I medicate myself every morning, I medicate myself throughout the day, and I medicate myself every single evening, just the same way as anybody else has, and just the same way as I did when I got up in the morning taking it, the prescription medication that I was taking at inordinate amounts to keep track of the same issues that I have and I'm using marijuana for. So where do you get your marijuana from? I am, I have, am a card-carrying marijuana user in two of the 14 states that it's legal in, and I'll plead the fifth as to how I take care of my needs <laughs> where I am. So you, let me ask you then, right so, now as we were speaking, you have already used marijuana today. You see, here's, here's something that's so crazy about this. People don't even, again, don't understand the drug. If you d read any information about it, go back to the 98 study that was commissioned by General McCaffrey under Bill Clinton, we prove for a fact that marijuana doesn't affect everybody the exact same way. People who have illnesses like mine that have traumatic neuropathic illness, we don't get the same euphoria that people who don't have it. A study just came out three months ago from the University of Southern of San Diego in California, commissioned by the government of California for 10 years. They studied marijuana, and they studied surreptitiously so nobody else could know that they were doing it, and that study came back proving unequivocally that it is one of the most efficacious drugs on the planet for the disease that I have, MS. I don't get the same euphoria that other people do. I get neuropathic pain lessening, and that's why I use it. I